ghastly ghosts. If Sanford Orcus is the most haunted house in England, then the most haunted village is probably picturesque Pluckley in Kent. No one knows quite why Pluckley should have so many ghosts, but it does. Some of them have been recognized as long dead members of a local family. Others remain, perhaps thankfully, anonymous. It is the Daring family which has contributed so many of Pluckley's ghosts. They moved into the district at the time of the Civil War when Charles II granted them an estate as a token of their loyalty. Today, the village churchyard at Pluckley is haunted by the beautiful ghost of Lady Daring, who was buried in three nested coffins with a red rose placed upon her breast. Those who have seen the phantom claim she carries the flower still. Another churchyard ghost is known simply as the Red Lady. She too was a member of the Daring family, whose shade now roams miserably searching for her lost baby. Sarandon Daring, the great manor occupied by this ancient family, burned down in 1952, but its ruin is still visited by another Daring ghost, the Lady in White. Even the local pub has not been immune to the Daring influence. Although any connection with the family is slight, during the Civil War, Lord Daring once managed to escape from the Roundheads by diving through a peculiar style of window. And when the war ended, and he received his estate from the King, Lord Daring decided to have similar windows installed throughout his manor. A number of other buildings in Pluckley did the same, including the Black Horse Inn. It seems a slender connection, but it may be enough to explain why the tavern's haunted. A mischievous poltergeist keeps the staff on their toes by causing small objects to appear out of thin air. The black horse poltergeist may not be a daring ghost, of course. Heaven knows there are enough phantoms in Pluckley that have nothing to do with the family. In a lane just opposite the black horse, for example, a ghost in period clothing appears swinging from a tree. Locals say it is the spirit of a schoolmaster who hanged himself on that tree nearly 200 years ago. There used to be another ghost of a suicide in Daring Wood. This was a retired colonel who decided to end it all in the 18th century. But his phantom is no longer seen since they cut down the tree on which he hanged himself. You can, however, still see a ghostly soldier march through Park Woods. And, if you find the courage to visit Pluckley's mill ruins by the light of a full moon, you may be lucky enough to spot the ghost of the last miller who died there. If not, it's always worth walking out to Fright Corner. No prizes for guessing how it got its name, is there? A crossroads, haunted by two ghosts, one of which appears only as a ghastly glow. Quite close to the crossroads is the stump of an oak tree, where a local highwayman tried to defend himself against a party of his enemies. He fought bravely, but in the end he was skewered by a sword which went right through him to bury itself in the trunk of the tree. Details of the fight are well known because so many people have seen it, again and again, as the phantom highwayman faces phantom foes by moonlight. At Rose Farm, close to the parish church of St. Nicholas, a phantom monk wanders abroad. While at Rose Court, you can sometimes hear the ghost of a woman calling to her dogs. Even the brickworks near the railway station has its ghost. Some years ago, a workman fell to his death in a clay pit there, and now passers-by are occasionally horrified to hear his ghastly scream as his ghost repeats the fatal fall. Why does Pluckley have so many ghosts? Perhaps the village has been built over a network of underground streams. Some experts believe that hidden watercourses can produce energy fields which make it easier for ghosts to appear. But the real answer is that no one knows. And, in the meantime, the good people of Pluckley get on with their lives and attempt to ignore their multitude of ghosts, including the phantom coach that sometimes rattles down the high street on certain lonely nights.